Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a nice sunny day today here in August. Well, anyhow, I thought today that we would go harvest some of my Asian yard long beans. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So I purchased these Asian yard long beans from, from an Ace Hardware store, you know, locally. And I always like going in there and browsing through their different seed selections, maybe to see if I might find something different. It's always fun experimenting out in the garden, you know, and I've never grown these Asian yard long beans. I also bought from the, from the same store there some of the Malabar spinach that's right over there growing on the outside of my garden structure. And so that climbing edible spinach, again also called Malabar spinach, has really been fun to grow out in the garden and it, they taste very similar to spinach. And so these are the Asian beans that I grew, or plant, bought from Ace Hardware. And so I have these Asian yard long beans growing up a trellis similar to this. It's down over in my potato patch area. So follow me along and let's go harvest some of these nice long beans. And so let's take a walk through this cattle panel trellis. And this is my potato patch area where I have some of my, you can see my hibiscus uh, bushes growing. But I have a lot of my potatoes down here and some melons. And I also have some strawberries growing down here. But down on, here on the end I have my beans growing up this trellis. And I also have some cherry tomatoes growing up this same trellis. Well, let's take a look underneath. You can see some of these beans hanging down here off the trellis. You do need to make sure you pick these beans within a couple days once they grow. You can see some hanging here. But I also decided to grow up one of my sun gold cherry tomatoes up this vine and also a yellow pear variety. But over here along the base is where I had these, I had started these beans. And you can see some of the beans even laying there on the ground. But I have to say they're very tasty and delicious. It's a very unique variety grow, something I would encourage you to try to plant in your garden. And you can see I have some of these beans sprawling out here on the ground. But you can just see them hanging there on the trellis and it's just a tasty and delicious bean to be able to graze, come out here and just eat them right off the vine. It's always one of my favorite things to do again is just to come out here and eat these right off the vine. And the younger ones are really a little bit sweeter and tastier. But you can see some of these you're laying on the ground. Even some of these on the vine. I'm going to be drying some of these over winter so I can use the seeds for next year. But you can see how nice and long they are. But they really are nice and tasty out here. Right off the vine. One of my, one of my favorite ways to eat these beans. You could also, you know, I have my cherry tomatoes here so you, you know, if you eat a tomato and then these, these beans, it's the really tasty combination. And so, uh, you know, these beans are easy, these plants are easy to grow. You want to make sure all the danger of frost is passed. And, uh, you know, they love the warm weather. You want to make sure you have at least six to eight hours of sun for these Asian yard long beans to grow. I also grow these in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. 
I usually buy anywhere from seven to ten yards every spring and and use them in my raised beds. But these are something really easy to grow and let me encourage you to think about growing these Asian yard long beans in your garden and then you can save the seeds for next year. So anyhow I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. If you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the section below and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so so you can receive future videos. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here, taking a look at some of these Asian yard long beans. So hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.